how to start saving or how much should you save to buy a house in 2023. We'll kind of break down action plans and what you should do to buy a house in 2023 or the savings and everything that uh, I would recommend. So let's um, dive in. So I think the most important thing is to determine your actual goal to save. So do you want to, do you need to save $10,000? Do you need to save $20,000? So the the most important thing and number one is determine your uh, savings goal. So how much is that house that you want, how much is it going to cost you? How much is it going to cost you for the closing cost? Um, by this point, you've already talked to your loan officer, so they've kind of informed you of all of this good stuff that we're going over. But determine your actual savings goal so that you know and you can create an action plan based off of that goal. Number two, based off of your goal, let's create a budget. So we take a look at this budget and X amount of budget is going to allow us to save X amount of dollars a month. And in X amount of years or in X amount of months, I will have X amount of dollars. So that X is where you replace, uh, you know, your goal or what you have. And it's very important that we stick to this budget because remember, we have a plan to buy X amount of time, whatever that time frame is. This is going to allow us to obtain that goal. Number three, why not open a dedicated savings account for this specific uh, venture, this specific down payment, this specific down uh, closing cost? Open up a savings account that has a high yield on it uh, where you can earn anywhere from 1% to, to 4% or 3.5% um, on your money while you're saving and have your money work for you a little bit. Yes, it's a little, but still, you are able to have it in a separate account where you're able to just automatically transfer money on a specific date. That way you don't have to worry about it. Or you can even have a portion of your check directly into that specific uh, savings account. And number four, uh, consider additional sources of income. Can you, uh, what they call side hustles, can you create or can you get uh, a side job where you are flipping couches, where you're flipping for furniture, where you're washing cars, whatever this specific uh, side job can be, this is a way for you to save additional money and put it directly. Also, all of this money that you earn from this uh, side job uh, goes straight into the savings account because this is money that you weren't going to anticipate now that you've created an, an additional revenue stream for yourself. Now all of this can go directly to you know the savings of your down payment and your closing costs. Number five, how about we do some research on your specific area if there are any grants that are available to you because this can really, really expedite the process of your savings and um, this can really help you. Um, so this is where you will have to speak to a loan officer or a real estate agent that potentially knows home loans, um, and they can inform you of any grants that are available for first-time home buyers or veterans, whatever that uh, specific thing looks like, uh, whatever that specific program looks like, that you could take advantage of this grant so that they can either pay for your closing costs or pay for all of your down payment or a portion of your down payment. This can really, really help expedite the savings process. So this is a very, very good option for you to really entertain and get with a mortgage professional to go over any and all options that are available in your um, specific market. And last but not least, stay on track with your plan. So if this plan is going to take you two years, if this plan is going to take you one year, whatever it is, make sure to follow it to a T because we want you uh, to become a homeowner. We want you to really take advantage of the benefits of homeownership. So follow your plan. Do not deviate and speak to a professional that can really hold you accountable and check in with you monthly or, or bi-weekly or whatever this looks like where they can just get a simple phone call and say, hey client, um, how are you with your savings? How are you with uh, you know that, that side job that, you've, um, that you have? How's this uh, coming along? Are we on track? Um, did we deviate a little bit? So stick to the plan. Remember we have this plan in place for a specific reason because we want you to enjoy the awesome benefits that come with homeownership. 
Now, of course, remember, all of this is really uh, just an action plan. There might be other things that you will uh, potentially need to do. This is just very, very high level. Um, of course, we would need to get really, really uh, into your finances, into how you're spending money, into uh, credit, into a lot of things to really come up with a good actionable plan. And this is why I say speak with a professional, somebody that can create this plan for you and really, really customize it to your specific situation. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.